Welcome to All Pro Football Data. In today's episode, we're talking about Lad McConkey, wide receiver out of Georgia. It's a redux. We're redoing the video, people, because we have his athleticism data. And with that data, we have the final piece to his projection as a prospect. So we're going to run through his production data real quick. If you haven't seen this video yet, the previous video, uh, don't worry about it. Everything you need is right here. So going back to his offensive market share data, um, the biggest concern with McConkey is he has a 36 percentile uh, receiving market share score, 40 uh, percentile in terms of total offensive market share, and then 44 uh, percentile in terms of touchdown market share data. Uh, looking at the averages at the All-Pro, Pro Bowl, and starter position, he's nowhere near the averages that you would expect out of those particular players. So that's the biggest sort of concern with him from that kind of perspective. Now, when you get to his efficiency scores, this is another area where there is some concerns with him. Uh, his yards per reception score is not that high. His TD percentage per touch uh, is pretty decent. That's probably his best quality, you know, 80 percentile in terms of uh, his uh, touchdown percentage. But his overall efficiency is a little bit of a mixed bag, I would say. Now, moving to his athleticism testing. So this is the area where everybody was kind of trying to see how he would test. And he tested really well. Uh, he had a 39 percentile explosion score, um, 70 percentile in terms of speed for his size, and 74 percentile in terms of flexibility for his size. This pretty much lines up with starters at the position uh, to all pro to pro bowl level players with the exception of his explosiveness, you know, his, his explosiveness traits, but he tested like a fast dynamic player in space, which is what he is on film. So his athleticism shows up on the film and also shows up in his testing. So there's really no reason to double count it, but that is a positive for him based on his uh, athleticism traits. Uh, moving to his adjusted production traits. Uh, based on his adjusted production, um, there are some concerns uh, with him in terms of his age, um, his MSA rating, and his pass rating at the position. Um, when you look at the all-pro averages and pro-bowl averages, he doesn't really hit anywhere near those particular areas. He does hit within range of the starter area of his data points. Uh, but those are just the main concerns with him uh, is his... Uh, age is a little older, and again, he has some issues in terms of his overall production, which kind of you know drops him a little bit. Now, in terms of comparisons, so I expanded the comparisons a little bit to include athleticism traits. Um, I looked at all the players that had similar production to Conkey, McConkey, uh, and kind of put them all here uh, to, for you guys to see. Also, add athleticism traits, like I said. And when you look at the data here, there's really only three starters out of this bunch, uh, to, or maybe four, if, mm, yeah, maybe three to four, depending on how you kind of weigh it. But Wes Welker, Darius Slayton, and then Devon Bess are pretty much the wide receivers that are similar to McConkey uh, in a lot of ways in terms of their production traits. All of them are kind of slot receivers also. Um, and athleticism-wise, I would say McConkey um, shares a lot in common with, uh, I would say, Bryce Treggs, uh, Wes Welker, with the exception of speed, because he is faster than Wes Welker in terms of straight line speed. Uh, probably also, he would also be considered similar to like Antoine Green in terms of his uh, athleticism traits. Again, athleticism isn't everything, but McConkey is a fast and flexible player. Uh, and again, I'm not just trying to compare him to Wes Welker because he's a white wide receiver. But if you want to say he's like Devon Best, I think there's a case to be made. If you want to say he's like uh, Darius Slayton, I think there's a case to be made. But the bottom line is, is you do have to consider McConkey to be an outlier. You really do, um, based on his production traits and his other traits on paper. So the overall outlook for McConkey, you know, the final verdict on him, I would say, is he profiles as a backup to starter long-term based on his production profile. Um, there are legitimate concerns due to the lack of his overall production, and he would be an outlier if he became a long-term starter, 
But McConkie does have every data trait he could ever need to become a starting NFL wide receiver. So despite the concerns that are here in his profile, if you like him on film and you think he's going to be a starter or a really good contributor, go at it. You know, go at it. I'm not going to tell you not to draft him just because he has some issues with his production profile. But understand the risks that you are taking with a player like this. So he could be really good. He also could just be a backup. Those are the risks that you take with a guy like this in terms of how he produces uh, on paper. Uh, so uh, with all that stuff out of the way, comment below. How do you view Lad McConkey? Do you see him as a a tremendous asset to an NFL franchise. Um, do you see him as somebody who might be a little overrated? Uh, do you just give me your thoughts below? Also, like, comment, and subscribe if you like this video. You want to see more videos like this? Definitely do that. Um, check out my X, formerly known as Twitter page, at Gemetrics on Twitter. Also, check out Patreon.com/slash Coburn. Consider becoming a Patreon, uh, a patron. Uh, definitely, you know, become a starter patron. Uh, I'm going to have the uh, NFL Draft Analytics Guide coming out pretty soon in April, so be on the lookout for that. And I'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.